will show you how to create cash register okay let's start first i go to create then form design i will press ctrl s to save cash register register i will go to design and i will add text box then i will add also buttons design format i will select this one format i think this one is good then quick i will choose this color a little bit darker this okay I will put a border or outline I will make it thicker okay this one then I will I will change the thread okay this one then I will copy I will make it 10 tap control C Two, three, four. I will make it a line. Tap here also line. Tap align, tap align, tap here also. I will adjust to make sure it's the same space here equal. Just to make sure that this one is equal here also is equal nine here I will make it line width and I will change also see this one and display I will make it green border then I will change the size 18 
then I will rename this text box txt display so whatever we press here automatically it will display into our text box which is txt display and here I will rename this one btn zero then I will put caption to zero also I will change the font size to 16 between zero here R. So here I will put the caption of our name is BTN Reset. So whatever our entries in our display text box will reset if we will press this button BTN Reset then I'll put here reset. I think I will change the feeling to yeah, that one. So so when we press zero, automatically it will display here. And if I press also 3, automatically it will display here. So we can use also this pass register in our stuck in and stuck out. Instead of typing 9, automatically we will use this one also as our numeric or numpad. We'll just click this one, automatically it will display our options let's say seven eight or nine or ten okay now we'll start our code i'll put option place it then I will put here private D underscore display then str amount which is will display on our txt display text box as string I will put also here private sub then add now I will put by val then int value as integer then I will copy this paste then equal stay our amount then we will concatenate and c s t r then end value then me dot r text box which is txt display equal then 
we'll put the format to our text box display I'll put dollar sign then our D str amount divide 100 then we put comma and format is this one then close parenthesis so we will use this one our subtin into our buttons okay when we click one here on click then we will call this one add I will just type add one I will copy this one because we have one two three so ten I will copy up to ten to make it fast two three four five six seven eight nine ten then here I will make it zero here zero one one it's okay here I will make it two here two then here three here three also here four 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 sorry this is five here also five here five six rather six then seven seven eight then here eight nine nine okay everything is fine it's okay I just want to double check that each button it's correct there is a code zero we'll try if I type zero it will make it zero if I type I will put first this reset here Between receipt, I will put here D STR amount equal blank, then me dot txt display equal zero blank, zero zero, then because this is a string that's why I put double cut I will type one to display one I type two three four five six seven eight if I click reset automatically it will make this it ten reset 100 reset also 45 lock so here I just click this corner 
then here on key down now I will put debug that print then key code shift then Debug. I forgot to put Y. Y. Kiko. Kiko. Okay. Everything is fine. Fifty six. Look. This. Whatever we type still here in our txt display so we need to reset also every time we will open this form of course set forward we'll put some code in our own load event here then we'll put here btn reset then click so if we will instead of clicking this reset we will call this button every time we will open so this one is btn reset so we will call using our onload event here this is our name of the button which is this one here then click to execute the reset again if I open lock automatically it will reset so 7 8 reset 8 9 so this one we can use if we have or we, if we will create also our point of sale or let's say instead of typing into our numeric keypad so we will use our cast register here by typing 12 then this is the amount then reset then type again then reset so this is how to create cast register thank you and god bless